I'm going to talk about two different ways you can receive information from a second form. Okay, so in my second form here, I've exposed the only text box on the form's text box property using a get set accessor. And then when I use this form from the main form here, uh, I just access the property to get the text box text. Now the key to doing this is you need to use the show dialog method to show the second form. Otherwise the code will be not blocked and you will receive an uh, empty string from the text box text property because that's the default uh, value for the text box. You want to make sure you use the show dialog method. Okay, so this is the second way of receiving data from a second form. And we're going to do this by passing a reference from the first form to the second form. So I've created an object called text box state. It has two properties, a care position and the text. Just a simple object to hold the text box state. And it's a class, so it's going to be a reference type, which we want. So from the main form, I'm going to create a text box state uh, object, and then I'm going to pass it into the constructor of the second form. And then I'm going to continue to use show dialog so that we can set the properties to our current text box on the main form uh, after the form is closed. Okay, so let's go to the input form and take a look at this. Um, I've got this global reference here to uh, a text box state and my constructor is modified to accept a text box state and after that we assign the the uh, local state to the global one. When we're closing the second form we want to set the state appropriately.